Hello viewers, welcome to Ultimate Gaming Guide. As usual, I'm Tanvir and in this video I'll be showing you how can you play the Super Nintendo games in your Windows computer. So without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, uh, so first of all, what do you need? So you need a decent uh, Windows computer or like a laptop. I know gaming consoles are basically like computers. So and this Nintendo Super Nintendo console was released back in 1991. So as you can imagine, back in 1991, uh, I mean, the computers were pretty slow back then. So any kind of like a recent or computer, uh, like a, even a 10 year old computer would be able to run these games just fine. Uh, but it's got to be in the running condition. OK, and the second of all, you need a Super Nintendo emulator and the best Super Nintendo emulator would be SNES 9X. And finally, you need the games. So the games are also called ROMs. OK, so those are the things that you need and where to get it. Uh, the best place to get the SNES emulator would be the emulator zone website. And best place to get the games would be like vim.net. Okay, and once you get to the vim.net, you want to click the vault and then you want to click Super Nintendo and you should be able to get, able to find whatever you need. Okay, and the best SNES games to try out would be like Super Mario World, Act Riser, Super Metroid, Final Fight 1, 2, 3, Castlevania, Mega Man games, Chrono Trigger, and Contra 3. So Nintendo, like... Uh, like using the word super so if you see any games with like the super in it that means that was very popular and you want to try that out okay uh, let's just now demonstrate how to uh, get the system running in your windows pc first of all you want to go to google and search for emulator zone plus snes emulator uh, you want to click on the second link right there snes 9x and go down a little bit and you wanna download the first one. I mean, uh, if your computer is 64 bit, you wanna download 64. If it's 32 bit, you wanna download the 32. But by this time right now, everybody's probably 64. So download, just download this one. Click that here. And you wanna click save, uh, wherever you wanna download it. I'm gonna download to my YouTube tests here see i already downloaded it so if i just click save it's going to download it for me so if i just uh go back to the folder that i downloaded so this is the snes uh, 9x so what i'm going to do just right click on it and extract all and this is going to extract all the necessary files for me so you want to get in there and what do you want to do you want to double click the snex 64 and it's going to create a whole bunch of files so don't delete those files okay so it's going to create a whole bunch of files and you need to uh, like uh, cl click like load games. So, so once you clear load games, it will uh, create another folder called ROMs. So so just cancel that out and and you want to it will create another uh, folder called saves also. So what do you want to do? And then you want to go to the Vim.net website and just follow the instruction that I showed you. Yeah, just uh, go to Vim.net, click Vault, and click Super Nintendo. So once you do that, just download the game. So I already have a game right here. So the games are going to be in zip files. So same thing, just right click, extract all. So so you just want to cut paste the file here, and then go back to your SNES 9x, and you want to paste that in the ROMs folder. So just paste that there. And, and now you're pretty much done and click the SNES again and you want to select load game and then you want to select that ROM folder. There we go. Uh, so you select the ROM folder and then once you get to the ROM folder, just select the uh, game that you want to play and it should run. Okay, so things are not over yet. You still have to configure the inputs to controller i would suggest using any kind of like xbox 360 based controller so or you can also use the original nintendo controller if you like to uh, there is uh, like a usb version available so once you get to that um just uh have the joypad one selected and uh, at this point, you want to plug in uh, like a third-party controller or any kind of Xbox controller or PlayStation controller. I'm going to use a 
Power A controller. Uh, this is uh, Power A. You know, this is a uh, only twenty-three dollar controller, but it has pro features like it has back buttons. Um, so I'm gonna use I'm using this. So what do you want to do? So see these buttons here. So you see up. Once you click up and you press up on your thumbstick. Okay, and then say so up on your thumbstick, left, left on your thumbstick, down, down on your thumbstick, or right, right on your thumbstick, and you wanna press, uh, you wanna select, see this configuration right here, B and A, Y and X. So this is gonna be B and A, Y and X. So if you wanna have it like the original Nintendos. Okay, so click that one, and you wanna press this A, and then A button here, and then Y, gonna be this one, and then X is gonna be this one. So it's gonna map out all the start and select buttons. So select your, do your, uh, you know, start button here, and then select button there. This is for the left and right shoulder button. So left and then right. And after that, just click OK and you are all set to run these games. So once you are done with the input configuration, select the video tab and then select display configuration. And at the output method, you want to select Direct3D. If for some reason Direct3D is not working for you, uh, just select OpenGL and it should uh, fix the problem. And at the aspect ratio, I'd like to have it by 4 by 3 uh, because back in the day, most of the TVs were 4 by 3. And you do want to check mark the V-Sync so you won't have any like you know, uh, frame rate problem. Uh, and at the output image processing, you can select none, uh, and this will have the like the original you know SNES resolution. But and you can also select you know two uh, X or three X BRZ. This will make things sharper. But if it looks too weird for you, all it, the you can do is you can select simple four X. Um, this is a kind of a, like a balance setting, and I like to have it on simple four X. So once you are done that, you are pretty much set. Uh, just click OK, and then press start on your controller, and it should take you to the you know the game starting point, and select uh, whatever you want to select. Just I'm gonna select one player game here, and you can press Alt or Enter. To expand it so this is the game starting point so this will uh, take you to the start screen so and now we can start playing here so you can see I can that my controller is working just fine I can do everything I need there we go this is like taking back to the old days as you can see, the controller is working just fine, no problem. Alrighty, I hope this little video helped you out and you are able to play Super Nintendo games in your Windows PC. Uh, if you have any question, be sure to put that in the comment section. And be sure to like and subscribe. And thank you so much for watching. You have a good day.